Today we have a new piece of equipment that I picked up. It's a Siltronics model PM15. It's a power meter, obviously. Uh, has four scales, 550, 500, and 1500 watts, and reverse and forward. Um, I have one of these. It's in deplorable condition. Um, meter face is cracked. The cabinet's just horrible. Yeah, it had seen better days. Um, and just been keeping my eye out for one to add to my collection. Um, that's one of the few things I needed for my Silt, you know, to complete my Siltronics collection was a one of these in good condition. Um, only real problem has one little dent right on the corner there, the eyebrow that hangs over the front here to protect the meter. Um, I can probably get that rolled back out just fine and touch it up. But otherwise, the cabinet's in really nice shape. You see, it's, like I say, that one little dent right there. But otherwise, really nice. Um, and they're actually nice meters. Ah, and here goes the camera. Um, these are uh, not peak readings, so you know there's no no battery, no power source. It's just a few passive components. Um, but you know you need need a little bit in there to make it work properly and read properly. And I like these, and they actually work really well. Um, Siltronics made really good equipment. Um, you know, and really heavy duty. I mean, the cover for this thing is, you know, that's <laughs> it's a really thick metal. Um, but like I say, this one's really well designed. As you can see, now we only have four scales here, but you can see all the adjustability of this. And that's what makes it really nice. It's easy to calibrate. You don't need a service manual for it because, as you can also see, they labeled everything. <laughs> so, unlike a lot of stuff that I open nowadays, you, you know, a lot of times you can service stuff as long as it's well labeled. You don't need a schematic or a service manual or the owner's manual. You know, especially something simple like this. But, you know, if they don't mark stuff, then you have to, you know, reverse engineer everything, trace everything out, trace all the wires up to the switch, you know, prove out, you know, each, each switch position to figure out what each potentiometer or, you know, trimmer pot is for. Um, like I said, it's just really well laid out. You know, they put some thought into it. You know, you see it does have one access hole for the trimmer cap right there. But, uh, like I said, just, I just thought I'd do a quick video on this, in case nobody's ever seen one or seen the insides of one. Um, you know, another nice thing, you know, back in the day, they took pride building stuff. They initialed stuff when they did it. So, you know, there's two, there's initials that might not show up in the camera really well, but there, I can see in pencil, there's initials right there, there's initials right there. So, you know, probably the people that assembled it, the other person that calibrated it. Um, now, I did uh, try this. It does work. It's horribly out of calibration. Well, actually, some scales. Um, the flat, you know, the five watt scale. Um, when you're putting five watts into it, reads about three watts. The fifty watt scale. When you put fifty watts into it, was reading I think like forty five. So it's not too far off. The five hundred watt scale was off by like. Uh, I'm trying to think which one was close. I think it was this one was really close. The five hundred watt scale was like two needle widths away from 500 and a 1500 watt scale um that wasn't too bad it was off like two or 300 watts i think which at 1500 watts that's not a lot here on the scale but like I said, this needs to be calibrated but there you go there's just a quick you know view of the uh pm15 siltronics power meter so it'd be really nice to finally have one of these in presentable condition that I can put up with all my other Siltronics equipment. I mean, I'll actually probably use this one. I'll just go ahead and hook this up to one of my 1011Ds. Um, I've got a couple of those that uh, I got. I didn't buy them brand new back in the day, but they were brand new in the box when I bought them. You know, they were new old stock. So I have actually, and I've already recapped it, but I have uh, one 1011D that I, I use. Um, like I say, it's brand new. I've got the uh, FD-1011A uh, frequency counter hooked up to that. That also has the CB channel indicator on it. That one's really rare. Um, I have my other PM-15 hooked up to it currently. It works fine. Like I say, it's just uh, condition-wise. <laughs> so now I finally have one. 
that I can proudly display and look at every day. The only thing that's actually missing on this was one original screw. There's three screws on each side, so I just need to dig out an original screw like that. I think I have some that are exactly the same. But uh, otherwise, really nice meter. And got it cheap on eBay. Where else? <laughs> so, enjoy!